I had a friend ask me to interpret the idea behind one chief, lots of Indians. He said that he had heard me say there's no individual that's above or below another individual. But he says that he thinks the people need something to gather underneath. This doesn't work. It's easy or it's it's doable to say well, if we backtrack a little bit. And I think he's referring to the godhead. Uh, I've said before that if there is any manifest form proclaiming to be God, it's not God. So, essentially all gods are blasphemous, so to speak, towards the true divinity, which doesn't have any uh, separ separation, it doesn't have any distortion into materiality, none whatsoever. Or, either that, or it's all of it. It either has none whatsoever, or it's all of it. Because if you let it have just a little bit here or a little bit there or a lot over there or this particular name then you just create another messiah to either worship or burn or crucify and that will happen it doesn't matter what it doesn't matter which way you name it it always happens it has always happened And our version of that is just, uh, you know, popularity. Our new gods are just uh, the celebrities. Those are the new gods. Those are the human-made gods. And all gods are, are man-made, every single one of them. Or uh, being made. So no, I don't, uh, I don't condone one chief for all the Indians to gather underneath. It doesn't work. And again, it's fine for there to be a chief who's in charge of a bunch of Indians. I'm not, I'm not arguing that whatsoever. It's just he's not the chief of any more than his local village. He's not chief of the entire universe. And that's what all of these squabbles are about. It's about whose who's God is actually the, the powerful one. So, if you want to have a banner to gather, to gather underneath, if you want to have an umbrella to gather underneath, just let it be your environment. Let it be your, your sky and the trees and the birds and the earth that feeds you. Let that be your banner that you gather underneath. It's very simple.
that's what the Indians actually did. Their god was just nature. They may have personified some of the celestial bodies. All humans do that anyway, though. So, if any... Conceptually, if, if any uh, differentiation as far as beings are going and uh, hierarchy or pecking order, then there's always going to be war. <laughs> Arguments, whatever. Arguments are a lower version of war. And there may always be war anyway, because that's what humans tend to do. They gather under conceptual banners and they fight each other. It's very normal for humans to do. So I would say if you're going to gather under something, gather under either the environment that you're in or silence, one of those two. And neither of those things is very conducive to printing out propaganda and proclaiming that such and so is our great leader. It just doesn't work that way. Silence is our great leader. Go talk to it. <laughs> if you have a trouble, I like it's not going to work. Anywho, gotta go. Peace.